um, he had a condition of, what did they call it? An infection called CMV. And you get it from toddlers, from sick toddlers that you're around. And it basically affects a toddler like a cold. And being that I was around this toddler when I first got pregnant, it caused my baby to get sick and he grew with this sickness. So it caused him to not be able to live and CMV can be crazy for anybody who catches it in the beginning of their pregnancy. If I would have caught it towards the end of my pregnancy, it wouldn't have affected the baby as bad. in the head like you really lost you you the lost jay you lost your child you trying to blame it on everybody else but yourself you're not holding yourself accountable uh you don't got no memories like the only memories you have like oh uh, what what memories do y'all have nothing like you just really just grieving in the wrong way you really is. It's like you just got so much hatred in your heart built up for me since day one. But this be with any girl that Jay dealt with. Because they know that that boy was just so in love with me despite anything we said to each other, did to each other. Yeah. Everybody know how that nigga felt about me. And I don't got to prove that to nobody. And, and, and at the end of the day... What, what we really arguing about? You speaking on my child saying my baby gave you something to killing your baby, right? Why you ain't say that when that boy was alive? Why you ain't say that when Jay was alive? Why you ain't say Jay had an STD when he was alive? Why you ain't say Jay blamed my baby for your baby death when he was alive? Oh, okay. Then all you gonna say is I want you wanna fight. I'm an unfit mama. That's what all y'all ragnets, dirty neck ass hoes be saying. I'm an unfit mama. And every time y'all get proved wrong, y'all be trying to come for me, baby. I'm protected by God. Y'all just don't understand that. I've been through so much. I'm not even supposed to be alive right now. I ain't supposed to even be alive right now. I done been through so much. That child don't even fucking understand. And y'all get on this bitch say, oh, I'm crazy. I'm mental. Bitch, look what I done been through. Uh, anybody that went through what I went through would have been to kill they self by now. Would have been to off their own shit. But I know I got a purpose in this life. God ain't put me through all that for no reason. God ain't put me through this for no reason. Shit getting better already. Not, not saying it's getting better because somebody passed away. But I'm saying shit. Shit changing, basically. Jay passing away, that ain't break me. And it's not going to break me. Because you know why? I still got our son to take care of. I still got our boy to raise. And that's what I'm going to do. And that's something that you... 
dog. It's like you be getting me started. Like people really be getting me started. People really be getting me started. Like for real. I really be minding my business. I got so much going on right now. I'm really trying to turn everything that I've been through into something positive. I got a whole nonprofit organization for girls that have been through what I done been through. Girls that's going through what I done went through. Girls that's battling the same shit that I'm battling. You on this bitch trying to just tell another person that you want to bring my baby into it, my nigga. Like, you really bring a baby. But this not your first time doing that. That's why you got told what you got told the first time I told you something. This not your first time playing with my child. And when they, when you posted that message of me telling you that, I told everybody. She, this, she played with my child, but... At the end of the day, I had to realize that still don't justify what I told you. So I apologized. I apologized. I apologized. I prayed about it. I let it go. I put that water on the bridge. You still playing with me and my child. Bitch, you even made a comment saying that your baby will look better than me. Look better than my child. Who even thinks of that when they pregnant that your baby gonna look better than uh, somebody else, ch somebody child that's supposed to be his sibling? Come on, my nigga. And what you trying to say that my baby ugly? He look just like his daddy. What you trying to say? But you think Jay so fine though? But you calling my baby ugly? Basically saying your baby will look better than my baby. You stand out there pregnant and God hearing all of that. Ain't no telling what else you to say that I don't know about. And look what God did. He took it right away from you. My nigga, come on now. You got evil intentions. You got an evil heart. Ain't nothing pure about you. Never. But you got this innocent little face. Like you were trying to put on this innocent little role. Like you just so a victim. But now since Jada died, they seeing how you really is. They seeing, they seeing what's really going on. They seeing how you really is. Like, I mean, I been seeing it, but it was, I knew it was going to get exposed um one day. I knew it was going to come to light one day because that's the type of person you is. Like, look how you just expose your own hand, blaming a baby, an innocent child um, for your for your baby passing you could have really just got on there and said that your baby had that and you don't even know where it come from and that you know you could have said you could have went so many other ways about but you just had to mention my child you just had to mention my baby you could have went so many other ways you could have went like you could have took that and went so many other ways with it you just exposed yourself basically you could have just did something so different, but you had to say Jr. You had to say Jr. did this. You had to say Jr. did that. You had to say Jr. Uh, Jr. Jr. Digger say I'm not blaming Jr. I'm blaming the people who raised him. So you blaming me and Jay? I can't take you. I I really got a bad headache. Like, I really got a bad headache. Like, I, I can't believe you just keep playing with my child. Like, you just keep playing with my child. And then people be like, oh, Jordan speaking on the baby that passed. She was speaking on my child before I even found out she was pregnant. Then I found out she was pregnant. Oh, well, we finna go Lord in hell. Don't play with JR because I'm finna play with yours. And now you play with my baby again. But I done learned my lesson. I done matured. Like, come on now, my nigga. Did you talk about I'm crazy, I'm mental? Bitch, you don't know what I'd have been through. I done went through so much shit. I done got hospitalized while pregnant from getting beat on. Baby still healthy. Baby still ain't have no complications. Baby still came on time. My baby's still strong to this day. The shit that happened to me while I was pregnant, I don't even like talking about it because y'all can hear it all in my voice. The shit that, I, that happened to me, me knowing my baby shouldn't be here. But at the end of the day, it's all about forgiveness. 
And it's all about just leaving shit in the past. But you just want a bitch to revisit their past so bad. You want somebody to be hurt just like you. You think I'm hurt already enough? You think I'm already going through stuff enough with social media, with certain family members of his, with my baby, let alone? Then I still have to grieve on my own because I had a bond and I had a connection with him. Then I got this bullshit that you doing playing with my child all on the media all on the net i'm i'm really tired i'm really tired and, and it's getting to the point to like damn what is it gonna take for you to stop what is it gonna take for anybody to stop fucking with me like, like what is it gonna take for y'all to stop